Hey guys, so I just want to make this video to talk about Reverse 999 uh, What I have been doing so far, what is my progress, what do I think about the difficulty of the game And what I'll be doing next I will even talk about my pools, which I usually don't But um, I'm pretty lucky in this game, so it's quite fun to talk about it So I will do that So first of all, I would like to mention I started the game in 3rd of December And today is 3rd of January, so it has been exactly one month in terms of my progress, I was able to complete all of the fights that has been given to me so far. Well, obviously not the earlier one. So I managed to do the hardest difficulty, which is Limbo, uh, Limbo Six. It just has been resetted, but the previous one I managed to complete it um, in about three weeks plus. So I was able to defeat all the hardest difficulty that a game can offer. So, yeah, so basically, as a new player, if you think that, you know, you might, it might take too long for you to build your roster, to win on contents, uh, don't be too worried about it. So, if you know what you are doing, how to play the game, when to use incantation, when to heal, when to attack, and relying on a little bit of RNG, there is some RNG element regarding the, f the fight overall. So yeah, um, you will be able to win in about 3 or 4 weeks. At most, I think if you wait for 5 weeks, like a month time, you will be able to win most of the content. So even the events, right? So uh, we have this Nightmare at Green Lake event, I have completed everything. In fact, I have started doing guide uh, regarding all the stages. Right, so I have done up until chapter 30. Okay, so in terms of my roster, um, I have been pulling. So my focus is on more of a balanced team. So you can see here I have Eternity, Lilia, Pickle, Teferi, Medicine Pocket, and Bronblum. And then I have Dyke as at Insight 2 level 50 as well. And then I have A9. I had to level up Dyke um, in order to win. Limbo 6 in the previous event because the last fight I do need 7 units 3 for the stage 1 and 4 for stage 2 so I need a total of 7 which is why I decided to maximize um, Dyke right so at that point like I say I do not have Eternity and Lyria at I3 I just I3 them like 2 or 3 days ago so at that point I do not have them at Inside 3 I just have everyone at Inside 2 at level 50 and there is no problem okay it's quite difficult but i managed to clear uh limbo six so if you notice here i have two dps which i'm currently maxing out so definitely if your team is able to do as much damage as possible then fights will be shorter because every fight does have a limit turn count uh, up to 12. they do give you under 20 but to get the maximum score as in the stars you need to complete it within 12 turns so i have my dps here eternity lilia uh, a buffer dps and a debuffer dps which is pickles and born born blum and then i have two healer which is two fairy and medicine pocket so that was my selection for the five star because before i get to fairy i only have one healer and when i was doing limbo i need to have two teams so medicine pocket can only cover healing for one team so i decided to get that to cover for the next team but after two fairy drop initially i did not plan to get to fairy but um, after that, I decided to throw some summons at it, and I finally got to Fairy. And so, Dyke is currently as Axis. And the thing is that um, the game features most of the fight features three units as well as an Axis unit. Some fight features four. So to be safe, I do want to have at least eight unit that is fully built up. So I have A Knight here, so I will build A Knight up and I kind of will put A Knight as a category of like a buff DPS, more like more uh, inclined towards the DPS unit rather than a buffer, uh, but he will do as an access character for now. 
So Dai and A Knight will be my axes, and this will be my main team. And talking about the elements, um, I'm not sure what exactly they call it in this game, but instead of you know fire plants, they call it minerals, star, beast, and plant. So I have my mineral DPS, I have my star DPS, and if I need to, Born Bloom will be my plant DPS, and Dyke will be my beast DPS. Alright, but since I do not plan to bring Dyke over to I3, so I might try to pull for another beast DPS um, in the future once there's a banner featuring a 6 star beast DPS. I, I believe it's still several months away. Um, we have Sapodia, I think that's her name, that does burning. And I think the latest event in China, I6, they also have a character, um, a, a DPS buffer unit that is beast as well. So I might go for that unit. Okay, so this is how I've, uh, what I will be doing. Um, regarding my pools, um, I would consider myself to be quite lucky. So my average, I think every three, 30 to 40 pool, I will get a 6 star. Okay, so initially, um, I did not plan to actually like really deep dive into this game right on the spot. So I kind of told myself, I will do some summons. And if I get lucky with the summon, then I will stay with the game. Okay, so at that point, I did farm all the clear drops and I decided to do 7 summons, 70 summons at Pickles Banner because the PD is at 70. So 10 tickets in, 10 summons in, I have nothing. Another 10, then I have Digger 5 star. Another 10, I have Baby Blue. Then, um, wait. 10, 20, 30. So in 30 pools, I get Pickles. Okay, I get both Baby Blue and Pickles. Then, I was like, hey, okay, that's not too bad, right? 30 pulls, 1 pickles, then I decided I want to go until uh, 70 pulls for the PD. Well, at this point, I did not know by the time that I get a 6 star, the counter resets. So I kind of have the impression that uh, if I keep going until the 70 pool, I will get another pickles. I was like, hey, maybe I can get uh, pickles portrait too. So I decided to continue pulling. So this is a 30th pull and at the 40th pull I get a dyke. And I was like, okay, great, I get a healer now. So 40 blue and another pickles came out. So wait, so okay. So 30 pulls I get pickles, 40 pull I get dyke. Yeah. So 40 pull I get dyke as well as baby blue and pickles. Right, if you look into this, I have 6 pool here, so this is the first 10, uh, first 20, first 30, which I get pickles, and then 40, I get another pickles. So I was like, oh my god, okay, it's 40 pools, I get another pickles, and now thir another 30 summon, I will get another pickles. So I was like, hey, the portrait 2 pickles has 40% uh, damage up to the party, so that's great. So I decided to throw another 10. I get a Blong Blum, which is in the website, she was categorized as a top tier 5-star uh, unit, an uh, S-class. So I was like, okay, that's great. So yeah, so I only have one copy of Blong Blum at that point. So I was really happy with the pool. So this is my 50 pool. Then I do my 60 pool. And finally, I do my 70 pool. I was like, hey, where's Pickles? I was like, something's not right. Then I was like, okay, let me try another 10 pool. And another pickles up here. So at this point, I wa I wasn't sure what was exactly going on, but at least I get the third pickles that I wanted. So I went and checked on the banner and I found out that the six star resets after I get a six star. So I was like, okay, luckily at least within these eight pools, I get three pickles and I get a bong bloom as well. So everything was I was I considered myself to be really lucky. So I was like, okay, um, let me try the regular, not the regular banner. Let me try the starter banner. The starter banner PT is at 30 pools. And you might get Eternity, Lilia, and Regulus. Honestly, at that point when I was doing, I did not know who they are, what they do. I just know that 
If it's 30 pools for one PD, that is very generous. So I decided to throw um, 30 tickets, uh, 30 summons at it. But I got Lilia within 20 tickets, 20 summons. Okay, now I was like, okay, I save up 10 summons, and that's great. So from there, I decided to stick with the game. Now I have um, two six star, which is Pickles. And what's that? Uh, Pickles, Lilia, and Born Bloom, five star. And it's a very good five star. So that kind of have a very good team. But I like the healer, but I have that. Right, so Dyke was working as the healer uh, at that point. But I was thinking, okay, I kind of want at least another six star because I only have two and I have three units. Uh, basically, my party consists of three units. I was like, okay, maybe I get another six star. And hence, I decided to pull on the regular banner. So, Soneto, you definitely get her. Then I decided to pull on the regular banner. Um, just to see, just to test my luck and see who I get. I kind of like one medicine pocket or sort of buy, uh, sort of B. So I threw ten tickets and I get another bong blum. So I was like, hey, okay, okay, portrait one, not too bad, not too bad. So another pool, nothing. Third pool, I get clicks and Sasuki, but still not a six star. So I decided again, my target is still on the seventy pool, right? So on my 40 pool, I get a medicine pocket and she definitely covers whatever I need to. So I was really happy and since I still have another 30 pools, uh, because I have allocated 70 for this one, so I decided to continue pulling and I get another bong blum and I get Charlie this time. So Charlie is also another very very good 5 star unit. So I was like, okay, this is very good. At this point, I have three copy of Bomb Bloom already. Then I get another Bomb Bloom and another Charlie, as well as Eternity. So seventy pulls in, and the pool has been amazing. So at this point, I have four five star uh, Bomb Bloom and Charlie. Then I have Eternity. So I decided to stop. I have three six star unit. I have Charlie, I have Bron Bloom, I have Dyke, and to me, that is enough for me to build up my roster and things like that. So, I stopped. Okay, I stopped for a very long time, I did not pull, so the last was December 10, just one week after playing this game. So, I stopped. Then, after that, um, everyone was talking about Two Fairy, and just like several days before Two Fa Fairy's banner, uh, goals, I decided, okay, let me try to pull for two fairy. Okay, I initially I did not plan to pull for two fairy, so I was like, okay, let me try. So here I am trying to pull for two fairy. Um, and the first pull, I got another bong bloom. And one of the reasons why I thought might as well I pull for two fairy is because of the five star unit, which is bong bloom. I thought I can just get her to portrait. Five or six, a uh, maximizer, right? So since she is a featured unit there, so it is definitely not a bad um, time to pull for her. So here I am. I pull ten summons, and I get three five star. And I was like, okay, not too bad, not too bad. So another ten, and then I get nothing, only Blonny, which I don't really want. Then another ten, I get Charlie, and at this point I have three copies of Charlie. So. I still need one more for her to be considered good. Okay, so I was like, okay, not too bad pool. But 30 tickets, uh, 30 summons in, 10, 20, 30 summons in, and then I get another bomb bloom here. So now I only need one copy, one more copy of her. So I was like, okay, not too bad. So but I'm not really feeling it at this point for this pool because it has been like 40 pool. And I have not gotten to fairy yet, and I do not have that much resource left actually because I've been pulling so much on the other banner. I kind of have like just sufficient. So 10 in, 20 in, 30 in, 40 in. Okay, this two six star, just don't talk about it first. Uh, 40 tickets in, and I get another Blonnie. So I 
and my bong bloom was maxed out at this point. So I decided, okay, I will just stop. I got, I have enough character to use. I don't need to pull for it. So I stopped pulling. And about four days later, is it four days? That twenty one. Okay, two days later, I was like, ah, never mind. I have another ten more summons. I might as well. And then I start calculating before the banner goes. I will have sufficient to pity. So I decided I'm just gonna go all out for two fairy. And then I got double to fairy and a Charlie and now my Charlie is Yeah, portrait tree. So this was like a super amazing pool and Yeah, so it was great. Then after that I just stopped pulling then I decided to wait for this invitation from others and I got another Charlie so my Charlie is now is at portrait 4 and I got golden thread tree which I traded for a knight and I accidentally throw one summon at Jessica so I decided to throw a um, single target until I get a four star which I got rabies so I decided to stop um, I do not really need Jessica I don't like the poison kind of gameplay so yeah I did not pull for it so anyway this has been my pool. This has been my progress in this game. Overall, I love this game. Uh, have been very fun. Um, the limitation, or basically the bottleneck here, is really the resource. It's very difficult to farm all the resource, but having characters as I2 and certain characters as I3 is sufficient for you to win uh, most of the content. So don't be too obsessed on trying to maximize everything out instantly um, because that's not how the game works. Okay, anyway, there's all that I want to update. If you are a new player, you are still deciding if you want to join Reverse 999, just join. It's pretty fun. And I'm doing guides and everything, so it should not be a problem for you to defeat or win events. Alright, so thank you very much and have a good day.